Hi everyone, welcome to Incidental Prepper. Today I wanted to share with you our vertical food storage for canned goods and how we use this area. I really like this type of food storage for several reasons. It's great for a tight space. In our instance, this is under our basement stairs. It's also a perfect system for first in, first out rotation. Finally, I know at a glance exactly how much I have of any particular item and when I need more. The oldest cans are on the bottom with the newest on top. So when I'm going down to the pantry, I take from the bottom. When I'm shopping and putting away groceries, I put it at the top. Here's a little close up of some of the construction. As you can see from this empty column at the bottom, there's a little bump out. And this is simply to help push out the can a little bit to make it easier to pull out. Here's an example of just how easy it is to take inventory. Before I go grocery shopping, I can take a glance and see that I need one can of Manwich and about three cans of chicken noodle soup. Now some items I want to use more than one column. For instance, I have two columns of corn. I always take from the lower left hand column and then move the bottom can from the right column into the left top. That is my convention to keep things current. I do have an area for smaller cans such as shrimp or water chestnuts and that's nice not all the not all of the columns have to be the same size determine what you need if you decide to build one of these and build different size columns for different types of food you want to store you may notice that our columns are limited to about six cans high that's because they are heavy and when you're pulling out that bottom can, uh, it could be difficult if you have too much more than that. We didn't want to have a lot of weight on the bottom cans just for ease of taking them out. And I don't know, it could maybe even affect the integrity of the cans, but I don't know about that. It's just something to take into consideration if you decide to build one of these yourself. So if you are tight on space or just need some more storage area, look around to see if you have any vertical areas that you can use. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you and have a good day.